In this uh, lecture, we're going to talk about the associative array type. In the last lecture, we talked about indexed arrays, so let's move on to a more robust way of creating arrays. Okay, so what is an associative array, and how is it different from an indexed array? Okay, well, with an associative array, we compare information in a way that associates the key to the value so that the array is more informative to us than a normal index type, or a simple index type, I should say. Specifically, an associative array can hold other data types for its keys besides integers, and that's a really important piece of information. Okay, so we're going to do a comparison so that you can really see the difference. Um, first, we're going to declare an indexed array. Okay, this is not an associative array yet. This is the indexed type. Okay, so what we're doing here is we're creating a variable called employee and we're assigning the value of that variable to be an array and inside of the array we have the values of Tom Robertson 21 13.5 male cashier 2.5 okay and the table that's below uh, the actual array declaration syntax is just a demonstration of the way that PHP would assign the keys to those values. All right, so you can see that the keys are really not very informative. Um, it seems like they should be able to hold more useful information for us than that, right? You can see that we have no idea um, what those values represent other than positions 0 through 6 of the array. So Let's compare this table to what we can do with an associative array. Okay, here's how we would declare the associative array version. Okay, so we would still have our variable called employee, and we would declare the array. And next, instead of just declaring the values, we're actually going to declare the key, and then we use this little arrow symbol. It's an equal, and then um, a greater than sign run together okay so it's uh, and then we put the, the value okay so each one of these sections is paired so for instance first name is the key that corresponds with the value of Tom last name is the key that corresponds with the value of Robertson and you you can see how this is a lot more information um, than the last indexed array, you would actually be able to pull up this information and have it print to screen in some way, um, you know, through using different functions, where you could actually have it, you know, tell us that the first name is Tom. <clears throat> and we can kind of figure some of that out just by looking at it, but for instance, 13.5, what's that? Well, you could actually use the, the key of this array uh, to print to screen next to the um, value of 13.5 so that we'd understand that that's actually a pay rate. Okay. To look at the table format, um, let's look at the next slide. And you can kind of see it more clearly here. So the keys are listed on the left, the values are on the right. So first name is to Tom, as last name is to Robertson, as age is to 21, and so on. Okay, and here the representations become far more evident than they were in the plain uh, simple indexed array. Okay, so to see an associative array, uh, or to see associative arrays in action, let's move on to the following demonstration.